Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Fellow. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will talk about a newly introduced directive in LWC that is called Spread. This directive can help us to share information with child components in a better way. Now to understand how it can improve information sharing, first let's take a look at how we are currently passing details to child components without using this spread directive. And for that, let me open VS Code where I already created two components, parent and child, and also deployed these components on org. Now, if we see these components on UI, then here in parent component, we have few controls where user can enter first name, last name, and email address. And on clicking of this submit button, we want to pass these details to child component and show them here. So let me enter something in these text boxes and click on submit. Okay, now here you can see text box values in child component, which means here we are passing data from parent component to child component, right? Now let's see how we are passing this data from parent component to child. So if you already watched my data communication videos, then you must know that if you want to pass data from parent component to child, then in child component, first we have to create public properties using API decorator. Here you can see in child component, we have created three properties, first name, last name, and email. And to make them public, we have used API decorator, which means now these properties can be accessed by parent component, or we can pass values in these properties from parent component, right? And now here in parent component, we have two options to pass data in those properties. First is using declarative approach, and second is using programmatic approach. If you want to learn in detail about these approaches, then you can check out my parent to child data communication video. Link is available in description. Okay. So to pass data in child component, we mostly use declarative approach instead of programmatic approach. Because with declarative approach, we don't need to write additional code. And also this approach is very simple to use. All right. Now here, what we are doing on clicking of the submit button, we are calling this handler method. And here in this handler method, we are simply reading values from those text boxes using wraps property. And if you don't know much about wraps, then you can find a detailed video link in description. Okay. So here we are reading values from HTML controls and assigning them into these properties. And here in HTML template with child component markup, we are passing each property value as attribute. Like this is the first name. Here we are passing last name and here email. Okay. So this is how we can pass data from parent component to child. Now let's discuss what is the use of spread directive and how that can help us here. So as of now we are passing here only three properties, but let's say we want to pass more values to child component. Let's say we want to pass 10 more property values. Then if we will go with this current approach, then here we have to add attributes for each property, which means we have to add 10 more attributes here. And you know, in that case, our HTML template will look messy because we will add lots of attributes here and this will keep going, which means at the end, we will have lots of attributes and due to that code will definitely look messy, right? Now, if you want to avoid this problem, like you don't want to add lots of attributes for each property, then LWC spread directive can help you in such kind of scenarios. How? Because it takes object as input and internally spread that object properties as different, different attributes. So as a developer here with HTML template, we just need to add single attribute that is LWC spread. Let me comment this line and create new. So here we have removed all these properties and only added this LWC spread directive. Now here as a input, we have to provide a object property. So let's create an object in JavaScript file. Here we have declared a user details object property. Now let's add these properties inside this object with NA values because by default we want to show NA on UI.
Okay. Now we have added all these individual properties inside object, which means now these properties are the part of this user details object property, right? Now here in this on click handler, let's update value in user details instead of assigning into individual properties. Okay, so here instead of assigning values in these individual properties, we have assigned values in user details property. All right, now let's pass this user details property in spread directory. I think we are done with code. So let's deploy this component and see still it is working or not because now from parent we are passing an object, but in child still we have multiple public properties, right? So let's deploy this parent component again. Here let's enter values in these text boxes. Let's click on submit. All right. Still we can see these text box values in child component, which means still it is working. So here you might be thinking how it is working or what this spread directory is doing internally. Let's understand this with a diagram. Let's say here we have two components parent and child. In parent component, we have wrapped few properties into JavaScript object as we have seen in our component and passed that object to spread directory. Now what spread directory will do? So internally it will do the same which we were doing earlier. I mean at runtime, this directory will iterate over each property which is available in this object and add them with child component HTML markup. So in nutshell, internally this directory will add these properties as attributes on child component element. So that's why child component will able to receive values in same way, right? So technically this is also doing the same thing, but using this directory, we can avoid adding lots of attributes on child component element. And due to that, our HTML will look cleaner and shorter. Okay. Now here you might be thinking, can't we send whole object to child component instead of sending individual properties like this user details object, can't we send directly to child component? Then answer will be yes, definitely we can. But in that case, we have to declare a object property here in child, because if we directly send this whole object as attribute. Like let's say I'm talking about this. So this is how we can definitely pass this whole object to child component. But the thing is in this case, we have to declare a public object property here. And then we have to read values from user details object, right? Because if you are passing whole object as an attribute, then we won't be able to receive value in first name, last name and email. We have to declare a object here, which means we have to do changes in child component as well. So yeah, technically this is possible. Like we can pass whole object as well, but the purpose of spread directory is using this, we can write clean and more readable code. All right, here, one point I would like to highlight that the active behavior is not properly working with spread directory. What does it mean? Reactive behavior means whenever value will get changed in this object, then it should automatically reflect in child component as well. So this behavior is not properly working with spread directive. If you notice here, I'm assigning a new object instead of updating value in existing properties because here I want to update all of three properties. But let's say we only want to update one property that is first name, then definitely we won't be able to assign like this because now this email and last name will be removed from this, right? So to update object properties, we generally write like
like this or maybe like this right but either of these will not work i mean this updated value will not reflect in child component let me deploy and show you here once i'll click on this submit button then first name value should be visible here but it is not working why because i think there are some issues with reactivity in spread directive and also this is not mentioned in salesforce documentations but we have workarounds for it let me show you how we can do this okay here i have used javascript spread operator which can help us to clone this object and after this we have assigned first name externally it means this spread operator will clone all the existing properties and after that we are externally updating this first name property with text box value so at the end we will have na in last name and email but in first name we will have text box value because we are assigning that here after cloning now reactive behavior will work for this object because now it is considered as new object as reference is changed all right now let's deploy and test it again all right now we can see first name value here and we have na in last name and email which means it is working as expected okay and maybe this reactivity issue get resolved in future releases so that's it in this video where we have discussed what is lwc spread directive and how it can help us if this video helped you to learn something new then please help me to by like and subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your feedback in comments that will really motivate me to create more videos if you have any other question or topic and you want me to cover them in future videos then please don't forget to share in comments or over mail thank you so much for watching we'll see you in next video